Sweeney Canyon, Wyoming. AP, Embatch the construction began last summer, stirring up dust that wafted down this desert valley and into a small community of off-the-grid homes. As many as 20 heavy trucks a day hauling construction materials and equipment rumbled down the valley's main gravel road, passing into a gate marked with a no trespassing sign. Helicopters flew in sling loads of cargo. Powerful work lights lit up the valley at night. Public planners in southwest Wyoming's Sweetwater County and Dash Sagebrush expanse roughly the size of Massachusetts and Dash say the contractor hired for the project has told them it intends to build a 22,000 square foot underground storage vault to store documents. Whose documents exactly? Apparently, the writings of the late L. Ron Hubbard, the Church of Scientology's founder, and other church records. But plans remain vague. County land use planner John Barton said the county also has been told the vault might hold any number of things besides documents. The contractor, International Ground Support Systems of Santa Fe, and Point M, also has said it plans to build a 3,500 square foot caretaker house and an airstrip, county officials say. But they allege that this has failed to apply for two required permits for work done so far. The mysterious project has riled some neighbors, who value the solitude of their remote community, located about 150 miles east of Salt Lake City. We have development activity occurring and Dash has occurred and, rumor has it, continues to occur and Dash without required permits. Ix has a majority ownership stake in the 3,500-acre property along with a handful of locals who otherwise don't appear to be directly involved in the project, according to county officials. The developer's lack of permits prompted the county to issue a stop work order in September. When work didn't stop, the planners referred the matter to County Attorney Brett Johnson, who said he's contemplating legal action if work continues without a permit. There's been a lot of work moved. It's quite clear that they're preparing to do a lot more work and we just want them to come in and get the proper permits, Johnson said. John Ledford lives in a solar-powered home within sight of the construction zone. He said the project has stirred up considerable dust and he worries that the construction could cause his water well to run dry. They've ruined the road, and we live with the fact that the road has gotten ruined. But the air and the water? It's just not right, Ledford said.